Hi Tigers, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here and in today's video I'm going to be offering for a really really cool and detailed cottage core glitch build and this person actually told me that they spent nearly 40k adopt me books on this build so that is a lot a lot of adopt me books it takes a long time to earn that so I'm really excited to offer for it and I have actually seen it because I did friend them and had a quick look at it but now we're going to go and explore the actual whole house like all of the areas of it and like we're gonna see it in the adopt me daytime and the adopt me nighttime so as you can see it is in a tiny home over here it's this one over here she has just put it up for trade so because it's a tiny home it is a glitch build and it's a massive glitch build so i really really like it it's like so cool so i'm gonna be offering some of my pets for it i don't know how much she wants for it yet but we are gonna send her a trade request and then um you know like see like what her best offer is so oh my okay so we've just entered it and it already looks so epic i really like the color scheme already i'm just gonna get one of my fly pets out so i can go around the house quicker and see what it's like she said that the house is over here oh this is so cute look at this little like cottage wow it looks like she's actually like built the windows herself as well because usually the adopt me windows you know you can't see in the windows from the outside and you can't see out the windows from the inside so it looks like that she has definitely built them herself using like some panels and stuff which i think is really really cool it looks like an actual house and i haven't seen any adopt me houses like this before it's not preppy but even though it's not preppy it's really cool because it's like a different type of build that i don't have in my like house collection so i would really like to offer for it Oh, there's also this really, really cute campsite over here, which looks really cool in the Adopt Me nighttime as it glows. I really like all the different lanterns around this house as well, because it would really make it like a good trading plaza or like a good trading area for everyone to hang out with their Mega Neon pets, because it's not too dark, but it's dark enough so everyone's Mega Neon pet stands out. So I think it'd be like a really good trading zone for like friends or just like an Adopt Me server. So I've now traded her and I'm going to offer for this amazing cottage core glitch bit so first of all i'm gonna see like how much she is looking for and if i have like you know what she is looking for this house um she said maybe a mega ledge or a good offer something similar in value to that i could maybe do this mega neon hamster because it's about the same value as a mega neon unicorn so i think they might like to do this and it's also kind of like a preppy neon mega pet so oh they said any other i can't really trade those a lot of people have said to me that the mega neon hamsters are kind of hard to trade i don't know why but let me know what you think about that tigers so instead i've added this mega neon pretty pony and a mega neon fossa to see if they'd like to do this instead i added the mega neon fossa because the mega neon pretty pony isn't worth as much as the hamster even though it is like really cute and it's quite good in value so let's see if they would like to do this instead because I would really like to add this house to my collection because I don't have any cottagecore houses. I have like a few like cozy aesthetic pink ones but not any like forest type enchanted ones like this. Um, she did say have you got anything else? I'm not really sure I do because a lot of my mega pets aren't for trade as like I'm collecting a lot of them. But let's see if she would like to um, pick one of the options that I already showed her. Maybe she would like me to do some like better ads. I could do the honey badges instead of like the Mega Neon Fossa because I have some honey badges which are the new UGC pets which are quite cute and the Mega one is very high in value. And I also have some of the new Robux Age of Potions as well if she would rather me add those because I think they're like quite good to trade as well. Um, do you have any ads with their hamster? Yeah, let me add some of the age of potions as ads. I'll add two of them at the moment and see if she would like to do this. But I don't really mind adding some more of the age of potions because in my opinion, the age of potions were kind of hard to trade because I do like kind of trade them a few times and not many people like to offer for them. Um, but she said, oh, I don't know because she worked so hard for this house. Wow, okay, yeah, and it did cost her a lot of money as well. Uh, any more ads? Yeah, sure, okay. I could probably add some more of the Age of Potions or some different legendaries if I have any to add. I don't really want to add the Honey Badges as well because they're like 300 Robux each. These potions are like 60 Robux each, so I added a few more of those. Um, let's see if she would like to do this now. Oh, she said, whoa, okay, that's good. That means she might want to do it. You have a lot. Well, I only actually have two more, but yeah, that is still quite a lot, I guess. 
I mean, imagine if houses had like actual set value on websites, like you could take pictures of them and then submit them to submit them to Alphabet Values and see like what your house is worth. I think that would be pretty cool, depending on like how much it costs and like the detail of it and stuff like that. I don't really have any more ads to add at the moment other than like a few random like ultra rares maybe like I have this penguin which I think I got from like one of my tiger cubs. I also don't mind adding one of these zombie chicks, this weevil which I also got from a tiger cub. I don't really have that many other random pets because a lot of them I'm like making me on. Um, how much are the potions worth? I would say like one legendary each because a Rye potion is worth two legendaries each and they're 150 robux and two of these are like just under 150 robux um so yeah about one legendary i'd say but yeah i've also added a ginger cat and a clownfish i think i'm going to disconnect from the game because this thing keeps coming on my screen so i think it means i'm going to disconnect so let me quickly friend them and then we can like do this trade for the house if i do get disconnected from the game um she said all right okay she accepted okay let's accept before i disconnect from the game let me know if you think this trade is a win fair or lose tigers for this amazing cottage called glitch build house i'm also going to be seeing some offers for this house because i would like to see like what's the best offer i can get for this house because i don't really trade houses that much so i think it would be really really cool to see what i can get for it so we did actually get the trade just before i disconnected which is really really good because i'm not sure i did actually accept that from request but yeah we did do the trade before i disconnected from the game so that is really good let me know if you think it was a win fair or lose tigers i think it was probably fair because i feel like it could maybe get a bit better than my offer but then yet again houses are kind of hard to trade so i think that makes it like a fair trade so i really hope that you enjoyed this video tigers and i hope that you liked me touring the new house that i got as well as me trading for it and if you did please remember to like and subscribe so you never miss another one of my videos and i'll see you all in the next video bye tigers